What's up, everybody? This your boy Trayvon here with Sent Talk TV. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And like always, I really do appreciate the love and the support and the comments in the comment section below. Continue to leave them down there with all your thoughts, concerns, and opinions. I'm open to all of that. And to my subscribers, thank you so much for doing what you guys do and for subscribing to my channel, bringing growth to this channel. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. But without further ado, let's jump into this review. Everybody know what F Black is. I mean, if you've been around in the fragrance community long enough, you know what that is. But not too many people actually talked about the other two, which is Free Time and the Peron. So let's start off with the one that everybody knows. We're going to start off with F by Ferragamo F Black. So, um, it's a very unique slim bottle tall slim bottle you got the size and concentration there there's a 100 milliliter size bottle 3.4 uh, you got the FY Ferragamo right here it has a has a snug fit in the atomizer one moment it's pretty good it's pretty good now in the opening of this is a warm powdery apple Overall, what I get out of this scent is a very powdery, slightly fruity, warm apple. Okay, so on the top, you got lavender, apple. In the mid, you got black pepper and coriander. And then in the base, you got tonka bean and labdanum. Now, when you think of apple, a lot of people might be thinking of apple in, in terms of the Hugo Boss bottle intense, you know, something like that, or just Hugo Boss bottle, but the apple in here is a little bit more dusty and a little bit more, the fruitiness in the apple is kind of down, down a little bit. And this is more of a fruit, uh, a fruity, dusty apple. Reason being is because you got that note of lavender in there. The lavender in here gives it a little bit more of a powdery, warm, fresh spice. The lavender in here gives it a nice powdery spice with a little bit of freshness. And as you get into the mid, that black pepper comes in. Not too much, the pepper in here is not harsh. It's not overwhelming. It's a little bit toned down a little bit, but you can still pick it up. It doesn't make you sneeze or anything like that. It's not harsh, it's not strong. It's just mellow, it's chill. And then the coriander, the coriander is a, uh, it's there, but not as uh, prominent, but it's there subtly in the background, warming it up a little bit. And then the tonka comes in, giving it a little bit of a dry, fruity sweetness a little bit. And then the labandum warms it up just a little bit because the coriander and the labandum works hand in hand as far as a like warming the fragrance up a little bit. Warm, dusty, powdery apple throughout the whole longevity of this fragrance. It is very nice. This, I get a solid five hours with an hour of projection. It sits close to the skin after that. And then you don't get a subtle uh, projection. You do get an average to slightly above it, depending on how much you spray, because if you overspray on this, you will be apocalyptic. I tried it on myself by overspraying, and it, no. Because it seems like when you overspray this, it gets cloying. It no matter if your, your body heats up, or if it's uh, moderate temperatures outside or in the building that you're in, you overspray on this for some reason, it doesn't smell right. So less is more with this. Do not overspray with this because it, you're gonna overkill it. Like don't do it, just do not do it. I picked this one up for a good solid, like between 20 to 30 bucks at like a rack store. I think it was at like a Marshalls or a Burlington somewhere like in the, one of those stores. This is a decently priced fragrance. Good projection, good longevity. If you want good longevity, spray more, which I don't recommend you do because this one, like the DNA in this does not work well with over spraying. You have to spray moderately with this, but it's up to you, it's up to you. So you have that choice where you want it to project nicely without choking and being cloying, or if you want to go be that guy and just be booming all over the place with this, then go ahead. I mean, who am I to stop you? Seasons, fall, and wintertime. 
any type of heat that hit this, it will mess this chemistry up so bad on your skin to the point it will not smell good at all. Age group, middle age on up. I don't think that the other crowd will appreciate this. This might come off a little bit more of a weird, kind of outside their comfort zone type of a fragrance. But middle age on up to mature older gentlemen would appreciate this. I appreciate it. But uh, my middle age on up, I think this would be a nice bracket, age bracket for this to fall under. So up next we have F by Ferragamo Pour On. So the difference between as far as like the bottles go, you know, the F Black has like black, it's black down here. You got the size and concentration sitting right here. It's the same size, 100 milliliters, you dig it. And the atomizer is silver instead of black. With this one, for some reason, it's loose, but it's a snug fit just like the, all of them. The atomizer is the same, it's decent. Really good, actually. Now, this one does not have the notes of tonka bean and I believe is that coriander. It doesn't have, it doesn't share the same notes as this one. This one goes a little bit in a direction of its own, slightly. You do get the same notes of in the top, lavender, ap apple, then in the mid you got pepper, then in the base you got labdanum, leather, and amber. Unlike F Black, it doesn't have that tonka bean in here. In F Black, the tonka bean gives it a little bit more depth. With the tonka bean not in this one, it kind of lightens it up a little bit and kind of freshens it up. The apple in here kinds of, kind of give it like a more of a fruity freshness, kind of lightens it up just a tad bit, but not much. You know, they don't smell the same. They're similar, but they don't smell the same. It's just that this one is lighter than F Black. Now the green apple really does shine inside of here. You know, the green apple is uh, freshens it up, give it a little bit more fruity, fruitiness. And then the lavender gives it some powdery, slightly spice freshness. Uh, accompanying the uh, apple that's inside of here. The difference between F Black and this one is just that, you know, the apple performs a little bit more better. The uh, lavender is turned down, toned down just a little bit. Also giving you like a slight subtle, uh, warm leather cord as well. I picked this bad boy up for like relatively the same price, 20, between like 20 and 30 bucks. Rack stores, Burlington, Marshalls, you know, you can pick this up at uh, Ross. Oh, you can definitely pick this up at Ross. All three of these, you can pick this up at Ross. I've seen all three of them at uh, Ross more than any other rack store. So if you want, if you're looking for this at a rack store, your first best bet is Ross. Seasons to wear this, you can wear this in the springtime and you can also wear this in the early summertime. You can pull this off in the fall time as well. Now with this one, you have a little bit more versatility as far as age bracket. I feel like that, you know, younger crowds, middle age on up can appreciate this as well. I mean, it doesn't have too much of maturity going on in here. It's not a uh, sweet, playful, immature scent either. It's well balanced in between. All right, last but not least, we have F by Ferragamo Free Time. Size and concentration here at the bottom right there. Oh, if I fail to mention that on the top, on the cap, you have the little F right here on the top. I don't know, there you go. You can see a little F right there, in case you guys were wondering. You know, same bottle, it's just textured blue, like a little gradient blue. You know, it's a little bit more unique than the other two. Atomizer, it's pretty much the same, it's good. Now this one goes in a whole different direction. It does not smell like F Black or the Porom. It goes in a whole different direction. The notes are completely different. The vibe is completely different. It goes into a whole different aspect. This one is more of a uh, more of a summery, like a spring summery vibe for hot, really really hot, high heat situations. This fragrance overall is a warm citrus, fresh spicy fragrance. So in the top notes, you got Amalfi, lemon, ginger, and amid you got pink pepper, cardamom, and the base you have that masculine, vetiver, Virginia cedar, and musk. So in the opening of this fragrance, you do get a heavy dose of that lemon 
And then that spicy, sweet, warm spice from the ginger starts to creep in. Not too much. It's like, you know, the main player in the top is that lemon. You know, you don't get much of that ginger, but it is there. Then you get some more spiciness in the mid. You get that pink pepper and that cardamom. You get that warm spiciness from the cardamom. Then the base, that's when the masculinity starts to come in. That vetiver and that cedar and musk. The musk is not too animalic, but it does give it a warm masculine feel. This is more for, you know, middle age on up. You know, it's a little bit more mature. Overall, you get this sweet, warm, spicy citrus throughout the longevity of this fragrance. Seasons for this, spring and summertime. This is one of the weaker performing ones out of the bunch. In high heat situations, you do have to be a little bit crazy with the uh, with your sprays because uh, spraying subtly with this one is not gonna cut it because this is a subtle scent. It will project a lot more if you were in high heat situations. Control climate, uh, moderate temperature uh, climates and are indoors somewhere that's like, you know, moderately temperatured, it's not gonna cut it. It's gonna sit really close to your skin. If you want nice projection out of this, high heat situations, you know, overspray. You know, if you're working or doing something indoors and your body uh, amplifies, like the body heat, your body heat amplifies, this will push out a lot more and the smell is ridiculously good. This fragrance puts me in a mindset of, you know, you're on a yacht in a, in a white t-shirt and you know, some, some jeans, you know, sipping on some lemon water, you know, enjoying like the sea breeze and stuff like that. This was what puts me in that mindset. Overspray, overspray, overspray. Now with this one, as far as price range is the same, 20 to 30 bucks. If you pay anything beyond that, you are cheating yourself. It's not hyper unique. You probably smelt this scent DNA probably in many other uh, fragrances, but for the price, I mean, you can't complain. So which one would I pick? F Black. It's a better performer. It lasts longer. It has a stronger complement factor than these two. Now the Perone is no pump at all. It does get the job done. Just a little bit weaker than um, F Black is in terms of performance and projection. This one needs work. But if you just need something that'll just freshen up at the gym, trying to get uh, errands done, going to grocery stores and high heat situations, you know, this is a good spray, grab and go. If you don't worry, wanna worry like a nice, uh, fresh, aquatic, refreshing type of um, scent, you can definitely pick this up and spray and go and be fine. Just remember to over spray. So that's all that I got for the F by Ferragamo line, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everything resonated and hopefully I inspired you guys to go out and try these fragrances for yourself and see how you like it because those three, I enjoy them. I, especially F Black is the top. I enjoy F Black the most. The other two is like, eh, it's, it's okay, you know, it's all right. But I still, I still enjoy both, all three of those. But anyway. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there and be blessed. And have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.